Everybody's going crazy over the new Lamar Jackson team MVP, and rightfully so. I showed you a video previously that kind of detailed why this card is probably going to be the best card in Madden, even after Golden Tickets are released, because he's going to have 99 speed and also all of the other thresholds that makes him dangerous. Plus, he's a right-handed quarterback. For me, I just don't like left-handed quarterbacks. I've never liked the way that they've played in Madden, even back in 04 when Vic was the god all. Like, bro, that dude was a monster. I still hated the fact that he was left-handed and the way he threw the ball. So you can see the going rate right now at the launch. I don't expect his price to drop too low, but I'm going to show you right now how you can get this guy for dirt cheap and how I'm going to possibly get him without having to sell my Josh Allen right away, right after this. All right, guys, we are back, and you're looking at the price ranges of this, and I just want to show you guys, um, a, lot of these, a lot of these cards that sell like at launch are usually high priced like this, especially when you think about the fact that some of these cards really get boosted crazily. Um, you know, what was that other dude? Jalen Smith. I sold him for 800K when I pulled him out of the 80-plus overall uh, scouting packs on his launch. These kind of cards, though, they generally tend to go down, but it's going to be something different about this guy because on Sunday, he's probably going to be getting his power up and his price probably won't go down. I want to show you something really quickly, though. When we go to Josh Allen, he's my current quarterback and he's been playing like straight garbage uh, over the last couple of days and I'm almost out on him because he sucks. This guy is going to sell for about 750, seven, you know, 750 to 800K. Right now, that's pretty much what somebody has him up for. But looking at his most recent sales, that's more than likely what he's going to sell for uh, if I do put him up, which he's going to be gone eventually. I just don't know exactly what I'm doing at this point, right? So look, peep this real quick. We're going to go over and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing and what you guys need to do in order to make this work. Now, once this video is out, People are going to know that this is what's happening, so prices are going to change. I'm going to show you what I did so far before I decided, like, yo, wait a minute. I got to show my peeps. Like, I can't just do this by myself. It basically is going to cost me, like, 300K to complete them. Let me share it with you guys. All right, so look. This is what I did. Right after I did the video of uh, trying to pull him out of the 80-plus overall pack, I went over and I looked at his set. And I'm like, bruh, it's something going on with this because it doesn't really make much sense. Like, how is this really going on? And, um, you know... Right after doing that, I was like, yo, we could probably get away with doing his set and making it possible to not spend the 700 plus that people are spending, right? So I don't know. I thought I had this guy. What Wasn't he? I thought I had this guy already. What is he now? He's 15K. I got to go back and buy these two, but they shouldn't get too high afterwards. I think I accidentally put them in a set that I was actually doing 65. All right, let me buy this one back. Um, we'll do that real quick. I don't, I don't know because I, I just finished making some elite tokens. And I think I accidentally put that guy in a set, which is kind of wild. Because what is he? He's an 86. So he's going to cost me 15. I think that's what I paid for him anyway. But don't worry about that. Um, yeah, he's an 86. So we'll be fine with that 15K, right? So I looked at this card right here. Marshall Yonder. And um, what happened was he was at like 260. Oh, now he's on a 207, right? So a lot of people were trying to um, get a lot of money because I saw a couple of them sell for 300, 350, whatever. So he was the higher price card. Um, the 92, uh, this guy was at about 138 when I last checked. I don't know if he went up since then. All right, so he's still at 138. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to pull some heavyweight sets, right? And from the heavyweight sets, we're going to sell the cards that we get. Or if we possibly are able to get a Marshall Yonder, we're going we're to just have that card set, you know, to just go ahead and put it to the set because that's going to save us that additional amount of money, even though it's coming down. Once everybody realizes that it's that cheap, what happens in the muck community? Everybody goes crazy. Everybody is trying to uh, figure out a way to make coins. This is going to be the ideal way. So in the heavyweight set, right, people forget about these sets. We don't, though. We always go back when it's necessary because that's how you end up coming up. So we're going to make five of these, all right, because I have enough to make five. And pretty much like I said, I have a lot of stuff in my binder. You guys see that I have like almost 1,700 items in my binder. This is what I do with my cards, all right? Now, why don't I have a mutt token that's available right there, though? That doesn't make any sense. Then I have... Oh, oh, okay, okay. I see what's going on. We're not going to be able to do five, bro. We're not going to be able to do five because I only have five. So we're going to have to... You're going to have to pray on those two. I was like, yo, what is going on? But now I just realized I only had five elite tokens that I made with the cards that I had before I ran out. So yeah, whoop de doo to me, bro. We're going to have to make this happen with only doing two of them. Now, remember, these are 90-plus overall sets. So if we get a Marshall Yonder... We're good to go. If we don't, 
you know, bro, listen, we're, we're just pretty much done. We got to sell it and we see what he's going for now. Either way, we can get it done cheaper by gambling with this because pulling the card is what I was thinking about. So I made like five and I didn't realize that it was two of those to do. But this is the set that you guys should be gambling with right now. All right. Keep in mind, like I said, in my case, I still have a limited Josh Allen that I can sell and easily finish it up. But you're going to also want to make sure you have all the other pieces to his set because they're going to be releasing his power probably on Sunday because that's what they, you know, that's what they've been doing. So here we go right now. I got two of these and a dream, bro. You see, I'm dead broke. I got 384 coins, dog, because I've been gambling with these 80 plus overall team builder sets. I've been absolutely an idiot and continuously doing it even though i know that there's nothing in them anymore and they nerfed it but that's not what this is about what this is about is pulling the marshall yeah bro we gotta pull a marshall yonder that's it we have to get him all right you guys with me if you're with me you know what we do let's get it bro we got two of them if we don't get them bro we just don't get them but i real please 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 all right, that's a 92. It's just the wrong 92. That's the only problem. But we can easily sell him and see what's going on. He's a power-up, but he's definitely not going to be going for that much. Can we get Marshall Yonda out of this one, please? Please? All right, this one's just garbage. That one's just garbage. All right, so we got a 90 and a 92. All right, so now, what does that mean for us? Most of you guys that do this method are going to probably get lucky and pull Marshall Yonda. All right, because that's, that's all I want for my viewers is for you guys to pull whatever you want. That's really what I want. All right, so let's take a look at what these guys are going for because now we are totally... Why do I have this guy? Oh, that guy goes to the set. All right, and this guy... Bro, this guy Kittle didn't sell yet? All right, whatever. So Jabal shared. He's a 92. At least, what What are you going for? 79? All right, so we're going to have to take 75 for him off the rip. There's nothing else we could do at this point. We got to take the 75. Somebody's going to buy him for 75. We got to take it right now. And that's pretty much it. There's nothing else we can really do about it. So 75K is going to have to be what it's all about right here. Not about the large Tazo. It's going to be all about this. And then we got the 90. So either way, when you do that, if you get lucky and get the Marshall Yonda, yo, bro, kudos to you guys. But if you do not get them, we still have options to sell these cards. Now you, bro, he, a 90 overall is going for that much? Bro, a 90 is going for 34K right now. Like, bro, this is, yo, this is what it's all about right here. So again... Because we are not going to go any other route, we're going to have to do this uh, at this point. Now, you might say, why don't you get rid of Josh Allen? It doesn't make sense for me to get rid of Josh Allen right now because if I do, what happens is I can't power up that Lamar Jackson yet because I have to wait for the base power-up. So if I put anything on him, it won't count towards the power-up. All right, guys? So make sure that you guys are not making that mistake. That, that is something that can definitely hurt you that I do not want to hurt you. All right. If you end up doing that, that can be really, really bad. So just understand once you end up doing something like that, bro, there's no turning back. You're pretty much finished. It's over. It's a wrap. You power up the wrong card. I did that with Michael Vick. And those of you guys that were watching that video back during Christmas, you guys were like, yo, stop. You guys are screaming at me. But I, you know, I was actively recording. By the time you saw the video, I saw the rage and I appreciated it. And I laughed about it because I started powering up the wrong card. I didn't start powering up Michael Vick from his base power-up, and I lost all of those training points. We're not letting that happen anymore. We're completely done with that. You know what I'm saying, bro? That's a wraparoni with cheese. So now, those guys are going to sell. We're going to be at about like 100 or something like that. If he continues to come down, what we could do is just sell other things that are available right now. But again, because I have so many things in my binder, I can easily continuously you know, keep putting certain things uh, in sets and make more elite tokens and keep gambling with that set if I wanted to. But I want to point out that it kind of works out for me in this case simply because I do need elite tokens for this as well. All right. So it doesn't really matter. I can leave it the way that it is and just see how it works out. And then we'll go from there. So I'm going to just put these guys in the set. That way we don't make a mistake and sell them. And then um, we'll watch what's happening actively because like right now with the way everything is, See, Josh Brown, he's going to still be at 15K or whatever it is. Like he, you know what I'm saying, it's 15, 16, it is what it is. He's he's not going to raise in price because nobody's really, it doesn't really matter. Like this guy is the one you probably have to worry about. You know, he might end up, okay, he went down. So if he stays around that rate, I think that we're better off uh, trying to go after that and get that 127, you know what I'm saying? And then, um, you know, we go from there and then see how it works out. What's Josh, okay, he's still, what is he at? He should be like, about, okay, he's at 16. All right, so we'll get him right now. 
All right, so bam, we'll get that. And then we have 78. So right now, we would have to go after, you know, like another 50 or something like that. Snatch that up. Okay, he sold. That guy sold instantly. But now, because we only have that amount, we're still like, you know, behind the eight ball a little bit. We have to figure out how to get those coins. So let me see. That's going to do that. Marshall Yonder, we didn't actually pull him, so we're screwed. All right, what do we got here? All right, he's down to 196. All right, so ultimately, right now, this is the, this is the deal, right? We have to be very, very careful with our next move because I've only spent um, like around 330 so far. So this guy, however, you know, you could gamble with it and see if it makes sense to keep doing those other, um, you know, the heavyweight sets, but it depends on how many elite cards you already have in your binder. If you don't have the right of, a, you know, the right amount of it, it could really, really hurt you. Uh, the next thing that I would suggest is this. For those of you guys that are going to be going after him no matter what, sell your current quarterback and um, do what you have to do with it and get rid of it now so you don't have to worry about anything. Um, in my case right now, if we look at it, you see the last time you guys saw me, I had 16, like 75 or something. You see how I'm down to 15? Because I used all of those cards to make elite tokens. All right. You can still go and buy it in the store, but it's kind of expensive if you go that route. Um, so I'm doing it based on the stuff that I already had in my binder. Now, I could easily, like I said, I could easily get rid of a card that I'm not currently, like, like even like a Ronnie Lott, I could power him down. But the issue with that is he, he's part of the Legends Chem situation, so I have to actually evaluate it, even like Chris Carter on offense. There's certain cards that I could get rid of, but you know what's ill? Derwin James, I don't actually need him, and he's not a legend, and I don't care if he gets a power-up because he was an additional card that I was using. So he might be ideal to get rid of. So let me show you what I did with this card, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do, how I'm going to ultimately get this done, right? This is what I did. When I was running Nickel and I wanted an additional user, before I started usering uh, Deion Sanders in my Nickel, I kind of snuck Derwin James in. So you don't see him here, right? I put him on my special teams, and um, I had to sneak him in that way because I couldn't do anything else to get him in the game. So you'll see he's a kick returner, right? Um, even though you see all the lines crossed out, because all of these chems are active, it didn't affect him. So it actually worked out that, you know, he was the actual guy. So everything was good along those lines. So now all we have to do is we're going to, um, we're going to simply see what's going on here. Who, we, who do we want to put as our third person here? Third. We'll put, yeah, Saquon, Saquon Barkley's garbage, but they have him as number three. So we'll just put him there for now. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of Derwin James because I honestly, because I'm all legends, I was just using him as a test, as a user. You know what I'm saying? So in order to not affect what I'm doing there and additionally keep Josh Allen because I have to wait till Sunday uh, to get that power up, we go over now to Derwin James. We power him down. And remember, for those of you guys that are getting him no matter what, go ahead and sell your quarterback. F, you're going to use him as a base 97. You see what I'm saying? But anything you put on that power-up, you are going to lose. I cannot stress that enough, man. I lost. I do not want anybody else here to lose. So we got to find Derwin James. All right, so let's go ahead, and we're going we're gonna to power him down. So he's pretty much done. This guy is done right now. We're going to power him down real quick. Take these things off real quick. All right, good job, good job. And he might be getting a power-up also very soon. I'm actually pretty shocked that you know, EA Sports didn't do a little bit, uh, give him an MVP. He was pretty good last year, but it is what it is. So now, this is what we do. We're going to see what's his price. What is he going for right now as a 94? Let's check what that is right here. What is he doing? What is he? Okay, so 200K. All right, so let's see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put him up for like 189. All right? People know that he's getting, you know, a power up and all that stuff soon. So he probably will sell. If he does not, it doesn't really matter. All right, we'll go 187. Let's just do it like that. See if he goes off. So that's what I'm ultimately going to do. So that once he sells, I will be able to get all the pieces that I need for the rest of this um this whole situation right now. Because regardless of what happens, we'll be over 200. We have to wait to see how everything works out. But he should sell. And then once he sells, I'm going to simply go over. I'm going to see if his price continues to drop. Um, as far as where are we at team MVP, we're going to wait it out. And then once he sells, we're going to come back over here. We're going to get those last two done because even like this guy, that's a 92. I don't think that he's going to still like, let me see what he's at. He's at 127. Okay. He's 134. So he's going back up a little bit. We just have to figure out how to accumulate a little bit more coins to get both these guys. So we're going to need about 
you know, like about 300 and change. He's back to 209. So that's what we're looking to do. So I'm going to go ahead and nickel, dime, nickel and dime my binder, get all that stuff done. But this is ultimately what the secret is to it, is completing those heavyweight sets. If you have a lot of things in your binder or you want to gamble with it and just take that 200 away from it, this, that's going to be the cheapest way to make them right now. And obviously, as the prices continue to level out, you should go ahead and get this done now. Just keep in mind that once his power-up is released, everything probably is going to skyrocket according to his card. Let me know if how you got it done. If you did get it done, maybe you pulled him out of the um, you know this set inside there, inside the scouting point set. Let me know. If it helped you out, also let me know. If you want more videos like this, leave it in the comments. I'm going to tell you guys right now, he's probably going to be the best QB in the game with a right hand and the speed that's way faster than Michael Vick. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. For full-length videos of Madden and other games, please be sure to subscribe to GMI's World Gaming. And for podcasts, GMI's World Podcast right here on YouTube. See you guys and girls next time. One love.